Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is uh, nine o'clock on a Wednesday, which means it's time for Hidden Gems. Now, this is where I take a trick or a product or maybe something that appeared in a book or a DVD or an online lecture, something that maybe people have forgotten, and I bring it to your attention and tell you how amazing it is. And I think that this is really one of the most valuable videos on, that I do on the channel because, and I've spoken about this before, but we stand on the shoulders of giants. And I think that what a lot of magicians do is they rush out to buy that latest and greatest trick, right? It's that trick that everybody has to have and they buy it because they want to know the secret and they know that they need that to perform to their audiences. Then when you buy it, you're kind of disappointed. You put it in your bottom drawer. It stays there for about five years and then you forget what it is and you just chuck it in the bin. That happens all the time. Well, there's tricks out there that have been around since time began and every day new people are getting into magic. And a lot of the time, a lot of the new people that get into magic, they're not even aware of a lot of these older routines that are just as good as the new stuff that's coming out. And so the Hidden Gem series is designed for me to talk about tricks that have been around for a while and, uh, and talk about how brilliant it is. Now today, I'm going to be talking about Greg Wilson. Now, Greg Wilson is one of my favourite magicians and everything he brings out, as far as I'm concerned, is absolute gold dust. Now, today we're going to be talking about Point Blank. Now, uh, Greg bought out a couple of DVDs back in the day, which you can still get from Penguin Magic, and I think you might even be able to get them as downloads now. And uh, it was Pyrotechnic Pasteboards and Card Stunts. Those two DVDs, Pyrotechnic Pasteboards and Card Stunts, had such an influence on my career. And, and the way that I actually perform and the way that I present, especially card magic. And I think I'm going to be doing another Hidden Gems in the next few weeks on card stunts. But this is off one of the routines of, um, uh, of pyrotechnic pasteboards. And as I say, it's called Point Blank. And I debated about whether to do a Hidden Gems on this because it's not a Hidden Gems, really. It's it, In one way, it's quite a well-known trick. But in the other way, it's not. A lot of people have never even heard of this. Um, I, I was in a Facebook group a little while ago. And somebody asked a question, what's the best trick with blank decks and uh, with a blank deck of cards? And there were lots of different variations and lots of different answers. Nobody, uh, there were about 50 comments and no one said point blank. And then one person said it and everyone was like, what's point blank? And I think it's because this deep, the pyrotechnic pasteboards was, is very old. It's like about, what, 15 years old now, maybe, if not more. And a lot of people just don't know this routine. And it's such a shame because it is such a commercial, practical routine. I do it all the time. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. We're going to talk about it in a second after you've seen a performance. But I'm going to start off by doing a performance to Matt. So this is Pyrotechnic Pasteboards by Greg Wilson. Let's have a look at a performance of it. And then after we've done the performance, uh, we'll talk about why it's so good. I'm here with Matt and Michael. Um, now... I'm going to show you something, guys. Now, and, and for everybody who knows, you guys work together. Yeah. Uh, you've worked, together for, a few, yeah, yeah, you've worked together for a few months now. And you're in kind of similar departments. You're in sales. You're in marketing. Yeah. So there's a bit of a synergy there. Um, and so I'm going to end up giving you a souvenir that you're going to keep forever. Okay. Before we do, I, sh yeah, I should show lights. you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop off. <laughs> what I am going to do, though, is show you I've got a very special deck of cards here. This is a blank deck. These have got no faces, no backs. These are what cards look like before they're printed. Okay. Very difficult to get a deck of cards like this. You've got to know somebody who works in the graveyard shift, and they sneak them out when, they're, uh, when people aren't looking. But it's a blank deck of cards, and this is genuinely the best card trick I know. Michael, pick a card. Any card you want. You sure you want that one? Mm. Go for the one next to it. Okay, go for it. Doesn't really matter. Look at it, remember it, show the camera, don't show me. You can show Matt as well. Okay? <laughs> Got it. Now, Got it. <laughs> now uh, put it back, uh, we'll actually, yeah, we'll, we'll put it back about there. Yeah, about there? Yeah. Push it in. Watch if I snap my fingers, this is the best trick you'll ever see. <laughs> the card comes to the top of the pack. Whoa. That's amazing. <laughs> Now, I can tell I you... See. Did you see him do no, that? No, no, no. There is a move. Let me do it again. Look, you might see the move. Look, it really goes down in the middle. You really push it all the way in. You snap. comes to the top. It's mind-blowing. Michael, yeah. I'm going to keep doing it until you like it. We could be here a while. It's a very impressive slide. Well, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I tell you what, now, sometimes people think I'm cheating and they think that maybe it's not the same card. So just write Michael on there for me. That would be great. Che, why would they think that? I have no idea. People don't trust me. Uh, and then just put a smiley face there. There we go. Perfect. So now this card is signed, which makes it unique, right? It looks a little bit more impressive with a signed card. Watch. The card goes down in the middle. You push it all the way in. 
you snap when you do, the card comes to the top of the pack. It's even more <laughs> impressive when it's signed. You doubted me. I can't That's believe. more impressive. More impressive, right? Some people say I'm not really putting it in the middle. I want you to see it really is going into the middle. You really push it all the way and push it in for me. And the idea is it's going to come through every single one of these cards, every single one, right to the very top. <laughs> <laughs> now, sometimes people think that I don't really put it in the middle. So hold it face up, Michael, yeah. and put it into the middle of the deck yourself, face up, so you can see the ink going in there. Is that fair? Yeah. You can see it's there. Now, Michael, you tell me roughly how many cards down in the pack would you say the card is, give or take? Halfway, it's what, 26-ish. 26. Because it's face up, when I bring it to the top of the pack, it comes up face up, you see. You, you just rub the top of the pack and you see it come to the top of the pack face up, you see. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how it works. Hold your hand out for me. It's very simple. It uses invisible ink. Let me show you what I mean. You can actually take the ink off the card when you're not looking. So all I do is when you're, when you're not looking, I pull the ink off the card and I put it right there. You see, Michael, there's the smiley face. You can't see it there. It'll go green at night. <laughs> Yeah, let me put it back on the card. Hang on, let me uh, hang on, just a little bit higher. Sorry. Any questions? <laughs> um, <laughs> you. Yeah. Now, I could keep doing this forever. I could keep, I mean, that's my job, right? I can make it come to the top over and over again. If I want to, I can make it come not to the top. I can make it go into my, uh, into my back pocket over there. Like, I could keep doing this forever. <laughs> and ever. And ever. And ever. But... I said that you were going to get a souvenir, so we'll put your card there, Michael. I'm going to give you the pen there, uh, Matt, and can you do me a favour? Can you just say stop? Stop. <laughs> Lovely. Can you just sign your name on that one? Nice. Now. There we go. Matt, what do you see on the other side of your card? N uh, nothing. And that's what you remember if you don't watch carefully. Absolutely nothing. Matt, we're going to take your card and Michael's card. Now, like I said, we won't even use the rest of the deck. Now, like I say, you guys have been working together for quite a while, right? So we're going to try and create a souvenir for both of you. Matt, I'm going to put you here. Michael, I'm going to put you on top. Well, hey. Now, watch. You keep an eye on your card there, Matt. You keep an eye on your card, Michael. It happens on the count of three. I'm going to try and fuse these two cards together. Sales and marketing coming together into one beautiful moment. It looks something like that. And I can pull the signature off Michael's card. And just like you guys have worked together for so long, now the two cards have fused together. One single card, piece for piece, fibre for fibre. Michael, you can put that on your desk, and every time you look at it, you can remember how your and Matt's relationship is so special. Oh, it's definitely going on my desk. I'll frame it. So there you go, that's Pyrotechnic Pasteboards, and that was me performing it to Michael and, um, uh, Michael and Matt. And the thing with this trick is it is super commercial so first of all it is a regular double blank deck of cards um and there's no extras there's no gimmicks to it there's nothing else it is just a regular double blank deck of cards now you've got that beautiful monument at the beginning where you have that hilarious comedy of them picking a card putting it back in the deck it comes to the top and and i've i've spoken about this on the channel before but i think it's really important that you present your magic and you make it entertaining and i've seen so many magicians that just are so boring technically they're great but they're just so boring and you know if i see a routine where there's a moment or an opportunity to make it really entertaining. And I love that even more. And that's what you have here. The whole premise of this trick is great. The other thing about blank cards is it's something laymen have never really seen before. They find a blank deck fascinating. It's the equivalent of like a jumbo coin for coin magicians. When you bring out a blank deck of cards, it's kind of a curiosity. It's an odd thing. Uh, it kind of draws people in without you even trying, right? So once you've got this gag, you then go into this incredible ambitious card sequence that's actually not even that difficult to do because you're using double blank cards. It's actually really simple to do. And, you know, you're just using a couple of double lifts and, you know, an Erdnase change here and there. But the impact that it has on the audience is really stronger than it should have, right? They really react well to this. And, um, you know, the moment where the card vanishes and goes in the pocket uh, or goes into the wallet or whatever it is that you're going to do. The nice thing about this routine is you can jazz with it. Uh, uh, Greg did it one particular way. Everyone I've ever seen do, do this, they do it in a completely different way. I think that once you understand the structure of the point blank routine, 
um, you can then play around with it and you can take it in a different direction very, very easily. And that's what we have here. You know, you, you're going back and forth in totally different directions. You know where you're going to start with the gag. You know where you're going to end with the anniversary waltz. It's kind of how you get there. And by the way, that anniversary waltz is great. Let's be honest. Anniversary waltz is one of the best card tricks that you can do. Uh, period. It, it's just really strong. Well, this routine has it all. It's got card to pocket. It's got card to wallet. It's got ambitious card. It's got uh, it's got a really funny premise. And then you've got this moment at the end where you have two people sign different cards and they fuse together and you give it out as a souvenir. I mean, such a strong moment and very easy to do. Just a couple of double lifts. Very easy to do. You don't need to, uh, you know, uh, ring a double faced card in or anything like that because. The gimmick are the cards. You know, it's a double blank deck of cards. It what it's what makes everything work. So it's really commercial. You don't need a table. It's an instant reset. Everything's examinable. Now think about this. If this was released as a standalone trick in this day and age, the ad copy would read like impossible. You know, um, gimmick deck of cards that can be examined. Um, no table required. Instant reset. Fully examinable. Multiple changes. Like there's just it. It is just a really strong routine. But the other thing that you can think about with this is how you can routine this into a set, because it is good enough. Let me get this perfectly straight. It is good enough to do as a standalone trick. And many times, you know, I was doing a wedding just a couple of days ago and I did this over and over again as a standalone trick. But if you're going to develop an act and you're wanting to think of a beginning and a middle and an end, this is a great thing to actually incorporate into an act. Let's say you start with a regular deck of cards and then you make the cards turn blank. Maybe you're doing Wipeout by Jay Sankey or something or Blizzard by Dean Dill or some variation. So the cards turn completely blank. Now you've got this blank deck of cards. Now you can go into point blank. And what can you do after you've gone to point blank maybe you can print the cards again or maybe you can do something else there's so many different options this is incredibly strong it really is um and the problem is i don't think a lot of people know about it because pyrotechnic pasteboards is as old as the hills but i'll be honest with you card stunts and pyrotechnic pasteboards are probably my two favorite dvds of all time if i had to sit down and think what are my favorite dvds of all time Pyrotechnic pasteboards and, and card stunts would be right up there. And I am going to be doing hidden gems at some point on one of the routines on card stunts. But for now, this is all about point blank. You want to learn it, you get yourself pyrotechnic pasteboards. I think that's the only place it's ever been published. Uh, you can um, get it as a download, I believe, from Penguin Magic. Uh, but the entire DVD is filled full of really good material. This is just one of the routines. But if you're doing something like, let's say, uh, for, a, for a married couple or you're doing something for a couple or in a restaurant, this is great. And the other thing is, even though it's kind of an ambitious card, it's different. So, you know, like you go to those gigs and maybe you've performed an ambitious card to somebody and then somebody else says, hey, uh, you know, can I can I see that trick? And you don't want to do it because you don't want to repeat the trick. You go, well, yeah, but let me do it a little bit differently. You bring this deck out. You're doing the same trick in essence, but it's going in completely the different direction. So that's Pyrotechnic Placeports. It is an incredible DVD and Point Blank, which is one of the routines on there, is one of the most commercial tricks you will ever learn. So there you go, guys. That's another Hidden Gems in the back. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, if you want to see, uh, if you want to learn hundreds of tricks and, and see loads of content from some of the best magicians on the planet, then all you got to do is go and uh, check out The Net Tricks. It's www.thenettricks.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. You can try it out and see what the fuss is about, which is what everyone else is doing. We're currently averaging about 10 or 15 people signing up a day. Um, so if you want to see what all the fuss is about, please uh, go and check it out, www.thenetrix.com. I'm going to be back again soon right here on Magic TV. But thanks very much for watching. Go check out Pyrotechnic Paceboards. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.